Well, we've been able to uh, isolate and characterize cells within human breast cancers that are the cells that drive the cancer and contribute to metastasis. We're studying the pathways that regulate these cells in order to develop strategies and inhibitors uh, to inhibit these cells and hopefully bring them into the clinic in clinical trials. What we've been looking at is the way the microenvironment around cancer stem cells influences their behavior. And what we found is that breast cancer stem cells are actually regulated by other cells in their microenvironment that through cytokine loops regulates these cells. We've discovered that these cytokine loops expand the stem cell population, and we've identified receptors on the stem cells that respond to these cytokine loops. In particular, we've identified interleukin-8, a, a cytokine involved in inflammation, as a crucial regulator of the breast stem cell. What we found is that not only does microenvironment secrete IL-8, but that when cancers are treated with chemotherapy, the dying cells make interleukin-8, which then stimulates the cancer stem cells. This may account for the finding that when we treat patients with chemotherapy and measure the stem cells after chemotherapy, the percent of stem cells actually increases following chemotherapy. So not only are the stem cells resistant to chemotherapy, they're actually stimulated by the interleukin-8 that's made in the microenvironment. Now, fortunately, having discovered that, we're able to block that response by blocking the receptor for IL-8 on the surface of the breast cancer stem cell. The specific receptor, termed CXCR1, is found only on the breast cancer stem cells. Using small molecule inhibitors of CXCR1, we're able to target and selectively deplete cancer stem cells in breast cancers. This results in decreased cancer growth but also completely blocks the metastasis of breast cancer. These ex experiments suggest a way in the clinic to target breast cancer stem cells by specifically targeting the microenvironment that is feeding these cells. All of our initial approaches, and we've already moved some of the studies into the clinic, in treating patients with advanced cancer combine traditional chemotherapy, which is effective at targeting the bulk populations, with stem cell inhibitors, which are resistant to the traditional therapies. In a, a woman with advanced breast cancer, it's important to target both populations since one has to be able to shrink the cancer in addition to targeting the stem cells that are ultimately fueling the cancer. Now, we believe that in early-stage disease in adjuvant therapies, the stem cells are the most crucial population because they're the only cells that have sufficient reproductive capacity to form a metastasis from a single cell. And so in those settings, it may be possible in the future to just target the cancer stem cell populations to increase the cure rates. But in advanced disease, it will be necessary to target both cell populations. That's our hope. In our experimental models where we have ways of selectively just knocking out the stem cells, we find that in the adjuvant setting, we can cure mice by knocking out the stem cells, whereas in advanced disease, we have to knock out both the stem cells and the bulk tumor cells in order to get uh, significant effects on the tumors.